hello welcome to accounting software videos um, in this tutorial i will be sharing um, tips on a guide on how to copy a new company file to another system or to another computer or probably how to restore the company file you know at times where you just want to copy a company file to another computer you don't have to back up you just want to copy from your system so i'm going to be sharing a very short tips on how to do that now to copy your company file directly on the system what you need to do is to trace a company file normally we're supposed to go to file when you go to file then the system should give you a backup that's like to run a backup which is this but here it's when you want to back up but to copy a company file directly to another system the uh, there are two ways that i'm going to describe it the first one is to run a backup of your company file now to run a backup of your company file let's say you have your company file here if we, and open this so when you open this company file here you're going to back the company file up you can either back it up to an external disk or you back it up to your computer system when you back it up to your computer system the next thing you do is you restore the company file to a new computer that's the easiest way that another, another method is you can copy the company file directly without running a backup that method is also very very effective but i always ask um, my student to be very careful when they are using that so now this the first method is rest back up your company file now when you go to file you click create a backup when you click create a backup you to sh this window will pop up if the window pop up you now click next here when you click next it's where the, uh, this window will pop up now what it will ask you to do is to select where you want to save the company file you can see tell us where you want to save the company file as you mean you want to save the company file on our desktop or on an external disk you click browse now this is where you select if you had a flash on your system if you had a flash on your system you select the flash on your system but if you don't have it you select desktop that means you want to save it on your desktop so you select desktop and click ok when you click ok then you go back to ok here then you see use this location here now we see you've told us to set the backup to the particular that this drive c and all that holds your company file he said we recommend you save it to a different and all that so here you just use, use this location so save it now when you click save it now so this is the location which is your desktop here you click save now when you click save it's verifying the integrity the data integrity after that it will save your backup so what it does is that it will save your backup to the desktop of your computer so that's the first step now the second step is restoring that backup back so if you want to restore the backup it's very straightforward so let's wait for this to uh, fully backed up then we'll now restore the backup so we're just waiting for the system to back waiting for the data file to be backed up i mean okay you can see here quickbook has saved a backup you click ok so we have saved the backup on our system now let's check where the backup is on our system know that so you can see from your system this is the backup of your file now to restore the data file now all you have to do is you save this particular data file on your disk i mean an external disk or a flash whichever one you want to use you could just go copy and save it to a uh, flash now to restore this backup to restore the backup you go to file then you click restore open or restore company then when you click open or restore company you see open restore a backup copy which is the one we saved initially when you click this you go to restore then you now select that same data uh, that data file that you have backed up so if it's if it's on your um, flash drive you go to my uh, pc or this pc depending on what you're using you select the data file on your pc then you click open you click next then still will ask you to name that data file which is the name of the company on the new computer now though this is the one i actually uh, backed up which is because it's on the same system so i'm going to give it another name to call it xyz limited one so i'll go to xyz limited one and click save 
so what will happen is that system will help me restore the data file on the new computer so you can see that I'm restoring the data file on the new computer and all that so it's, it's quite straightforward and easy to do so like I said before you go to your file you click create a backup you back the data file up you can either back it up to an external disk or use a flash but most I advise you back it up to an external disk I will use this because I'm using one computer to illustrate that you can see your data has been restored successfully and all that so this is a new company that we will be working on and all that that's one method now another method you can back you can probably copy a company file to another system is if you copy that file directly that means you don't have to back up all you need to do is to copy that company file you go to your system here you come down to your system then you enter folder because that company file should be in a folder you enter folder here then you select color then you enter the name of the company file s y z or most of the company file are or most of the data file are all in a file called company file so we should so before, before you finish typing company file yeah you can see here company file this is a file this is a folder that contains all the company you've created in quickbooks you double click on that folder when you double click on that folder it will expect it to open now you can see so it contains all the company that you have created in quickbooks now look at it here you will see that this is the xyz limited now what you can do here is can right click on this directly You can right click on this you click copy this is, so it's like you're copying the data you're copying data file directly without running a backup then when you copy you close it yeah then you come if you had open quickbooks on another system you can come to file then you click open or restore company here you can see restore a portable company file that's what you use if you come to this place now you will see this is the company file that will copy XYZ limited here so you can come here you can click restore a company a portable company file you click next you click next so this is where you now select that company file so the assumption here also means that you must have copied that file directly from the folder to a flash so at the point of restoring then you can just select your flash and click here so that's the two method you can copy your a, a company file to either another system to either a new computer system and all that so because there are so many reasons why you might want to copy a company file probably for security reasons probably because of the change in your computer or your system crashed and all that so this method should help you to restore your company file that i mean you copy your company file from one computer to another if you have any question you can probably drop in the form of a comment and all that or you can like us for more videos on accounting software.